Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 5 of my AC Milan Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And first up here we've got a scout report, but before I get into that of the scout report of these few players from South America, I've got a new skin, you probably look at it and it's really, really similar. Uh, that's because it's actually the version 2 of the one I was using, so I'm going to leave the link in the description. I'll go to the preferences, just so you can see what it's actually called. Yeah, Alavanger 15 Madness Dark, so you would see that I have the second version here, it's version 2. There's a light version, but my eyes can't handle light versions, I need dark skins, and I've got some other ones there that I tested. Uh, and you see all these, I couldn't use any of those, look at that, for all those for me, they're too light, and even on like 80% is like the darkest setting, and yeah, there's a couple blue ones, but they're not actually b blue, it's like a stadium, and then there's just whatever that is, <laughs> so, and then there's more grass, but for me, uh, especially being AC Milan, it matches it a bit, uh, like the darkness of it, so that makes sense, like being black uh, for AC Milan, mix of red and black, so that's all good. And also the date. If you watch back in previous videos, always with a skin, one thing could bug me and then I need to, yeah, get a new one. But it kind of fit well because this is, yeah, the second version of it. Uh, you can see it's 2014, but I felt it was a bit darker. You couldn't actually see it or you'll have to look really hard. That's what I noticed anyway. So that should be all good. And as I said, it's the second version of the tactic. So I thought, oh, tactic, sorry, the skin. If I said tactic again, sorry, but yeah, uh, the, the skin, that's what it is. Uh, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can download it. But uh, this is what I like about these kind of players. Like these are guys I'm not going to find by scouting because I haven't heard of them before. So I couldn't just search them or yeah, in my scouting network and all of that. And the sidebar is skinnier as well, which I like. We just got the images of that and not the words so that you can focus more on uh, the rest of the game, uh, which I like personally. Uh, but yeah, there's three key guys here. You know, sorry, I clicked on the team. Uh, but yeah, Diego Rojas is probably uh, the strongest of the bunch. Uh, he looks pretty good as a center attacking midfielder for a 19-year-old. But the thing is here, we've got Hashim Mastor. He's going to be the key player in that position, and he's a young guy as well. Uh, so I'm not really sure. He probably seems a bit more balanced at the minute, Diego Rojas, and will be really cheap. That's what I mean. Players from these kind of leagues in South America... And other leagues in Europe that are not as popular, you can get them at a bargain price, even if they are high potential players. I'm not sure how high he'll be, but it's leading Serie A uh, potential. Uh, you can get him pretty cheap. If he was in like a Premier League or something, you're probably towards 10 million or something like that. But uh, he looks all right. Leave your thoughts on him with that potential. Uh, probably up to in between four and five stars even though, yeah, they're not stars. <laughs> uh, Sebastian Martinez and Eric Pulga, they're just not good enough. This guy doesn't have a face. Uh, but that really, really top level is probably, yeah, not not where they're going to be. So he just good potential in Serie A. But sometimes you get a good guy picked up like Diego Rojas. So he's going to be yeah, definitely on my radar. Uh, here we've got this guy. Um, I'm not sure how to say his first name, but we'll just call him by his last name, Case. Uh, he looks pretty good, some high mental attributes. Uh, but again, you look at his report. Uh, he'll be fairly cheap. Uh, what's his potential like, though? Uh, he's a decent signing right now. And potential-wise... Potential ability to be leading. So it's not like Star World Class, anything like that. So a few interesting guys here. Well, this guy has a long name. I probably wouldn't sign him because... Th I think that's the most difficult name I could attempt to pronounce. Like, str like right off the top of my head, I can't pronounce that. I have to, like, I'll have to yeah, break it down. <laughs> but, wow, that's long. But anyway, let's move on. He looks pretty serious though. Oh, Ganzo. He used to be a beast, didn't he, a few years back uh, when you would sign him, when he was more of a young guy with potential. And now, yeah, at 24, he's yeah probably not going to increase much more. But he looks pretty good, doesn't he? He always used to develop into amazing Brazilian uh, back when him and Neymar, maybe yeah four or five years ago, they used to develop so good in the game. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that before we get into the game. So we've got a game to the, today against Genoa. We've got two games in this episode at home, and there's an international break between them. So players will recover, but hopefully they don't get injuries uh, for their national teams. Uh, that's something I wouldn't want. Also, there's something I want to show you, and in general, uh, with my videos, uh, Football Manager is a very in-depth game. So these are the things I want to show you a bit more, like team reports. If there's anything else you want to see, uh, drop in your comments. I'd love to see that. And just on that as well, uh, this series has got me a newfound enjoyment. 
in making videos even more. Of course, I always like recording Football Manager, but the feedback from you guys make me more motivated to sit down and record the next episode, you know, which I really, really like. And also, it's got me a uh, newfound growth. I felt, yeah, it was slowing down a bit, but... Uh, gotten a bit up this series if you search for football manager on youtube yeah uh, these videos and my channel uh, just to click on is right there so uh, i guess that's the response from you guys thank you very much for that but i'd like to see your feedback on what else you'd like to see apart from me just yeah playing the games just showing you whatever messages i get something like this uh, leave your thoughts if you'd like to see that but formations uh, you can see there we just have one key one so you can see the goal scored i suppose that's about it um, and our goal scored the actual stats of that time, most goals scored. Uh, see, in between 31 and 45th minutes. Uh, that's a good fact, I suppose. Uh, it says 41%, 12 goals. Yeah, 12 goals Yeah, twelve goals out of the 29. So 41% in there. Uh, most common assist type pass, uh, which is pretty good. Most common assist area, left wing, 10 out of 27, 37%. See, yeah, that's pretty interesting to read, I think. Goals conceded. Oh, key... Time most conceded, the 76, and like the last 15 minutes of the game. That is always the most pressing concern. So what would you work on for that? Would you work on not just defensive ability or yeah, work defensive positioning or whatever in training or just defending in the general training? Maybe something like fitness. You work on the fitness of the players uh, so they're fit enough or at least more fit uh, than they would be if you weren't working on that as much yeah, towards the end of the game. So again... Goal, uh, there's, I guess pass, that's a pretty popular way to concede. So uh, you'll see it. And left wing. So that's, yeah, both yeah, both of them. We score more on the left side and concede more. So, But this attributes is something I like to look at here. Best attribute is pace. We're rank first. So we've got the quickest team. That's really, really interesting. Our worst, but that's pretty expected. But it's not the worst in the league it's ranked ninth so it's about just above average but of course when you're going to have a lot of quick players you're not going to have the most tall players in the world and then interesting average age 27 that's really really old for me usually i like to have at maximum of course that's not what i look at then i look oh no i have to sign some more young players or something it's just how i play my careers it's usually a bit lower than that but ac milan at the start they have a lot more experienced players but definitely they'll be uh, looking uh, to leave the club as I rebuild it, which it needs to be done. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got some player stats. We've got form player. We've got um, Alex uh, Honda playing well. Uh, Nigel De Jong and Alessio Churchy, who's been probably a standout for me, uh, average rating-wise. He's performed well in the games. And I know people are saying play minutes because he's really good in real life, but I can only play like I've got to choose my best team in the game, you know, to make sure make sure I'm keeping my job this season or getting a new contract and maybe get a three-year contract or whatever, then yeah, you can allow them uh, to come through because that's what I mean. If we go to Menez, he's not as good in the game. That's a fact. Uh, I suppose apart from his finishing, he's got other good areas. You look at the report, it's about the same. So I like Menez. I think he's a decent player. He's going to get chances. But Churchy's better rated in the game, especially scoring-wise with finishing and whatnot. And... Yeah, uh, he's been doing well, so you don't really want to drop him because of that reason. So, who are we going to change here? Suleiman Tari, I've been playing him, well, one start and one off the bench. He did score that winning goal, or not winning goal. It, I thought it was going to be, but then they got a goal late. Uh, anyone else? I know people are asking me to play Bonaventura. Is that how you say his name? Bonaventura? Uh, Giacomo? Uh, some people are saying that he does really well for you. That's amazing to hear. It's just because we've got better players like Al Sharawi. He's amazing. And again, Kirchi, Honda, or Churchy, sorry. Um, maybe Honda. He Honda's really balanced, I feel. He's got a few of those 16s and then other solid attributes. Maybe we'll drop him back. I like Honda, though, because he can play center attack in midfield or center mid. Some people, yeah, think he'll need to be sold, and I do as well. Uh, I think we could get someone better than him, but for right now, he's still a key midfielder for us, no doubt. So we're going to try it now. Bonifantura through the middle, advanced playmaker. Let's see, just by his attributes, how well he can do there. You can see there, and on attack, he's got that 15 dribbling, 14 first touch, 14 passing, 15 technique, and uh, some their mentals there. I won't go through them all, but... We're going to give him a chance here, a starting chance. That was, that's what we need to give him, really. And 
okay, maybe we'll do it now. Uh, yeah, we'll do it now. We'll play Menes. We'll give him a chance for Churchy. Put Churchy on the bench. But Menes, uh, you're saying he's good. Definitely. But this is where he has to step up. He's getting a starting chance here. He has to show. Come on. Do it. <laughs> you have to do it here today. You have to prove. Come on. It's a home game. This is a great chance. And being that kind of key guy, the attacking midfielder is a key guy in your team without a doubt. That's where you're going to expect a lot of assists are going to come through when playing through the middle anyway. So uh, let's go through another kind of yeah, three centre-back formation. They're playing. They've got win-backs. Uh, so got to be careful of those, of course. Opposition instructions applied uh, by the assistant. Uh, 20 tactical knowledge. Uh, you know, that is very, very good. And we're going to say here, passionately, um, yeah, let's do it for the fans. We're favorites here. Let's do it for the fans, okay? And then, oh, sorry about that. We'll just go by picked, and then we'll say, assertively, I have faith in you. I reckon mixing those two together should be pretty good. A mix of a expectant team talk, and then, yeah, we'll get the good reactions through the positional team talks. And there we go, Mattia Destro, who has been on insane form. We need to sign him, right? Surely. You think I should? Leave that in the comments as well. Do you think I should sign him permanently if I can get the money from somewhere the rest of the season? 11.2 million, isn't it? So we're going to have to pluck that from somewhere. I'm not sure where, but uh, he's a proven goal scorer for us. And if... Oh, come on. Menez. Come on, Menez. Menez! Menez! See, that's what I mean. He can't finish in the game. Maybe his finishing should be a bit better rated than 10. Oh, come on. Rami goes all the way back. And that is to De Chilio. And now De Jong. Oh, some people were saying this angle is too far away. I saw that in a comment a couple of times. Do you just want on the default director? Because I want it to be different than it's on the... We'll, we'll try that then. We'll try. Or what about on close? Or is that too close? I think... I don't like it being too close. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, where are... We? If we go director. Okay. Yeah, that's a fucking good camera. <laughs> is it outside the ground? Okay. Oh, my God. If we play it, there we go. That will fix it up. So, we'll just do it this way and we'll see how it goes. And then you can leave your feedback on that. Even though the replays will be in the same kind of camera. Just slower. Maybe that will be all right. Come on. See, I no, nah, because I like to see, I like to see more of the pitch. Like you can't see these players there. That's what I like to see, so I can judge my tactic. So if you go TV there, yeah, you can see more guys where they're positioned and stuff. So yeah, hopefully you'll be able to understand that. I just showed that there because yeah, you can see everything. You can basically see all the players now where they're all set up, and you can see why we almost concede. Oh, crazy. So yeah, apologies if it's slightly too far away from you, but. Yeah, yeah, as I said, I can analyze and that will help me tactics wise because you can see everything that's going on and where players are positioned and all of that off the ball. Rami. Now Honda. He finds Al Sharawi. Oh, here we go. Destro tried to fire a shot, but it was well blocked by them. And here, this is what I mean about the match stats as well. He's in the way. Ooh. They clear. They're under fire early, though. I reckon against in yeah against these kind of teams in these kind of games when it looks like we're dominating early. I reckon we can yeah push up to attacking, and take the game to them. I think it will be a disaster if we concede right away. Yeah, but surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Hell, man, we were dominating. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, I hate this man, football manager. Like I don't want to get mad at the game like i've like come on diego lopez we'll definitely have to stay on attacking now but that just sucks man like we had so many chances and they have won oh fuck! how did they do that oh is that same man against costa oh my god i know he's a good player he's an amazing shot take i'm just shocked that we allowed him it's not like he was in so much space we had a player kind of covering him but oh no no, no, no. Come on. Got to take this. Honda. Honda. That's one thing he's good at. He's good at finishing from a free kick. Uh, you can't doubt him. 
that's what you'll miss if you sell him at least. His free kicks are perfect, especially from that range, and he hits it over the wall like that on target. Goalkeepers are not going to be saving it. So, come on, what was that? What was that? I've got to change some instructions here. Come on, we'll go yeah, more, more direct and higher tempo. We can change it up a little bit. And we'll even push higher up. We've got to go try and win this. But we'll go in aggressively. Yeah, you don't look like a team that wants to win. So that allows us... I'm really happy about getting that late goal, though, because we're not that far away now. Just one goal and it'll be equal. It'll be a draw. Uh, but yeah, we, it can still allow us to do that aggressive team talk. Being 2-0 down would make it hard. And maybe, imagine we can score right away. This would be ideal, but we've got to defend this chance first. Come on, tackle him. No, no, fuck. Oh, it's offside. But wow, the defending is not good. The defending is not good at all. And I've seen, well, I reckon we've been a bit lucky um, in the first month or so. We've conceded a few chances. And they've either been offside, like just offside like that. And if he held his run a bit better... Uh, it could have easily been another goal. So that's something we could work on. Um, definitely. Uh, we are a bit lucky so far. Not just this game. Uh, I mean, in the season so far, we probably could have conceded more goals than we have done. Just being brutally honest. I really want to be more honest and not biased towards my team. So hopefully, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. But we got to be... Oh, come on. Make the interception. He slid in. Oh, I'm not happy about that, but... It's not like, yeah, it's not like when you want to score more goals, you go more attacking. What do you do when you want to be better defensively? You would think go more defensive, but we need to score a goal. Ugh. Okay, De Jong, don't get a red card. That was really good. That was really good, that challenge. Sometimes he knows what to do. <laughs> now, Menez! Menez plays it through to Destro! And that's what Menez can do. He's... Oh, fuck off, offside! That wasn't offside. It probably was, but fuck. <laughs> Come on, De I'm more mad at Destro for not staying onside. Yeah, nah, that is offside. That is offside. But then, he, yeah, he got back a little bit, but it was offside technically. I'm just, yeah, I, I'm mad there. Not at the game or anything where people think I may complain about the game. It's not that. It's not that. I'm mad at Destro for, yeah, not staying onside. Oh, that's what I'm frustrated and mad at. Come on. Yeah, Bonaventura hasn't really impressed, so he's going down for this game. <laughs> going down. Um, Honda, who scored. So we're going to bring on Mentari. I have a good experience of him coming off the bench. And we'll bring, yeah, Honda. He scored. So if he gets in more goal-scoring positions, advanced playmaker, maybe he'll take that or create or something, surely. Uh, anyone else that's going to make a difference? Maybe Abate. And we'll take off... Amero's been poor, and then we'll yeah switch sides with Decilio, and we'll make those two changes for now. Uh, yeah, what else? Maybe complete win backs on attack, and we'll roll with that. Come on! But I'm really, however this game pans out, we may end up still getting a point from it. Oh, who knows? You could win two goals in just over 30 minutes is possible. But regardless of the outcome, I'm going to be yeah disappointed with our defensive performance up until this point, at least. We dominated the game possession-wise. And I know some people say sometimes it's not all about possession, but we look dangerous. That's what I mean. Oh, come on, another short one. Another... Oh, Montari, you got to smash that like you did last time. Surely. It just... He passed it to the goalkeeper, pretty much. That's what it was like. So here, we're going to have to completely go attacking. We'll go overload and... And go route one. Uh, what's that exactly? It says, yeah, get the ball forward. We'll pump the ball into the box as well. Uh, shoot on sight. Got to take the chances. Take more risks. Be more expressive. Uh, I think that's pretty much all we can do, you know. Maybe look for the overlaps as well uh, from the complete wingbacks because the inside forwards do cut in. Surely we could... Just one goal. I definitely... Oh, do we make another sub? We'll see what happens here. It's almost instantly, which could be good. Abate, come on. Come on, Honda. Penalty, maybe. Yeah. What? Oh, no, it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be a red card. No way. Don't give it ref. Fuck. Oh, I thought that was a penalty. How does he get a yellow card when I had the ball, yeah? I had the ball. Honda had the ball. How is that a red card? How do you give away a foul when you have the ball? Fuck, man. 
Uh, I know that's this may be one of those situations where I didn't maybe I didn't see it clearly and I'm overreacting to it, but like I don't know. I might have to see on the replay and then I might understand it a bit more, but Honda You just ruined it for us in this game. Do we have to maybe go a bit adventurous here and drop a fullback? or complete wing back, whatever you want to call it, and we'll bring in another attacking player. We'll bring in another striker in Pazzini. I think that will be best. And Abate, I know you're not a centre-back. You can't play centre-back, but you're going to have to. <laughs> That's all I can say, pretty much. Um, he's going to have to play centre-back. Uh, he's still got decent tackling ability, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, He's not the tallest guy in the world, but not the smallest. He's quick. Hopefully, that will be able to do something. Not really sure, but yeah, Pizzini now. I have to. We have to go for it. It's as simple as that. So Pizzini, uh, you can't push him high. You got to change the role. Yeah. Um, I'll go complete forward. Complete forward. Okay. And De Jong, what do you do? Mentari, what's his best role? Maybe a roaming playmaker. Just to change something up here, we'll go roaming. And because there's still 20 minutes left, that's a lot of game time, isn't it? So I don't want to, yeah, go like even put De Jong uh, out of his yeah preferred role of yeah, winning the ball back. But we just have to go for it here because we're, we're going to lose it here if we didn't change something, if we didn't go more attacking because with the red card now, we have to just go for it. It's as simple as that. And we'll see if we can do that, but this is what is, th it, this is going to make this series more interesting, it's going to be close, it's going to be hard, but come on, I still have the faith, I always believe, tackle, well done, here we go, Menez, ah, come on, his first ever goal for AC Milan in this save, the 10 man AC Milan have equalised, Wowee, come on, now let's go for a winner. What a tackle, though, by Destro. He can do everything, then played it across to Menez, and he couldn't miss, surely. Even with 10 finishing, he could put that home. Well done. Come on, let's go for a winner now. We'll say passionately. Push forward. Come on. Imagine if we win this. This will be, oh, this will be crazy. This will be crazy. De Jong, Al Sharawi. Oh, no, they're going to hit us on the break now. Maybe I should have took the draw. <laughs> now, nah, come on, defend. We've still got guys back. Yep, they just gave it away. Now, let's hit him back. Diego Lopez. What is he going to do? Is he going to pass it short? Yep, he goes to Abate. So, he still pushes out wide to a right back position naturally. That's just his instinct. And now, Menez. Oh, he dodges past him. De Jong. Oh, he just falls. But Mentari's got it now. Mentari. Oh, red. Yes, now they've got a red. It's evened up for the last couple minutes. Oh my god, what a game this is. We've had 13 shots on target. Oh my god, Menez. Imagine if he could score this. It would surprise me. Look, pass it short. This uh, Bacchetti uh, by himself, but he probably wouldn't score as a centre-back. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love these kind of games uh, because it's going to be good for a video, you know. Look, pass short. Abate, look at the space. But he won't do that. And he'll waste it. Menez, what are you doing? But the question is now. Because we do have an extra Mac, we just go... Where... Could Menez be a third striker? He scored now. What is his best role as a striker? Ooh. If we go striker here, is it more of a... So he could be like a false nine type, apparently. And we could use that because we're not playing with attacking midfield. Okay. That would be all right. We'll put him in the middle. Abate. Not a, yeah, Abate, but then put Menes there. Because Abate could potentially play as a winger. He's got that in his positions, yeah? It's not obviously natural or anything, but he can use his pace. But he's not a type to cut in. So we'll use him just as a winger. So a lot of changes here. But we've got to try something. He'll be more better as a winger just, yeah, running down the flank and then maybe crossing it in. So Menes, what was it going to go with Menes? Uh, false nine, yeah? False nine. What about what's Trek Bautista? I said false nine originally. So we'll try that. He's a bit more deeper. And 
that is a supporting role. So maybe he could create something for those. They'll have two center backs. I'm going for it here because it's evened up. And because I went into this game wanting to win. I wanted to get six points from these two games. It's looking unlikely now. But come on, we can do it. There may be a chance. Al Sharawi. Oh! Did that guy have a yellow as well? I thought that could be. Oh, yes! Menes could take it! Menes! Oh! Destro! We've done the impossible here! How have we done this? I do not know, but we have. Oh my god, what a ripping game. You could not script this, surely. Whoa, fuck, man. <laughs> I'm going to get a heart attack one day from Football Manager. I feel like I am right now. Oh, there's, there's a highlight right away, so I can't change it. I can't change, so we'll just see. Hopefully, they don't score right away, because I didn't, I didn't even have time to change what's going to happen. That would suck. That would suck. Nah, come on. Come on. Come on, don't score from it. Oh, good. I would have been so pissed off there because there was literally no time. You saw I was going to press space. Or well, you may have even heard it to make changes. I would have been pissed if I would have conceded there. So, Abate will drop back. We'll go to like we did before. Uh, what about De Jong? Where can he play? He could almost play center back. Could we do that? But then we don't have a left back. Do you have anywhere? Where can Mentari play? Ooh, okay. Sometimes you have to make changes for the better. <laughs> for your chance to win the game. And Abate to go on that side. And now Al-Sharawi. Where can he play? He could almost play as a left midfielder. He could play wide midfielder. Or just, yeah, a winger on supports. There we go. And Menez, can he do the same? Yes, he can. There we go. But no, nah, no player in the middle is a bit troubling for me. I just want to get this right for the last couple of minutes. All right, Menez, winger on support. And, you know, I'm guessing Destro, they can't really play more defensively. Pazzini up. So, what we're going to do... Because, yeah, you know, no players in center of midfield. Can Al Shirari play center mid? No, he can't. But maybe it's about just having a player there. They don't have to be amazing there. They just have to be able to play, you know what I mean? So... And... Destro... Is it easy? Yeah, just have the numbers there. They can't play there well, of course. Menes, best. Destro is actually not bad. He's almost the same rating as Menes there. He must have the attributes or something to play there. Um, just put him as a roaming playmaker, maybe, so he, he'll get forward. I don't know. Al Sharawi. See, he can't play really anything here. Let's just maybe a deep line playmaker. Advanced playmaker on support. Because, yeah, if we get the ball to attack. And Menez. Maybe box to box. Just putting some roles there. And we should be able to defend. Fullbacks on defend now. See, this is a very rare situation. Uh, that I would do. <laughs> All of this. We'll go and contain. Just, yeah, last, just waste time. I rarely ever waste time. That's not something I do. And just more direct to get it forward. Um... Much deeper. Play it safer. Lower tempo. Um, shoot on sight, I guess, if that makes a difference. Stick to positions. Uh, don't look for the overlap. And yes, that should be it. Just hold on for the last three minutes. I know playing some players out of position, but it has to be. Yeah, we have to play through the middle. Got to get yeah, defenders back. And we should be able to defend this here. Yes. Come on now, Abate. Use that pace. Oh, Abate. He could run it. Nah. He just holds it, which is smart. Which is smart. We could finish this. They're maintaining possession well, though. This is what... Yeah, that's what I like. Being responsible. Yes, well done. Well done. This is a deserve wall. Whew, this will be a crazy three points to win. So it's not like I'm just cruising like with Manchester United in games. This is a tough... Tough game. We're going to have to grind. We're going to have to grind results out, which uh, we're looking like we're going to do here. Not an easy win uh, by any means. Now, Antonini. Uh, they play it. Got to be careful. Come on, Abate. Your natural position there. You got to cover that. Fuck off. No way. My microphone dropped there. I had to catch it. So, but how did they score? We had five at the back, and we're going as defensive as possible. 
Fuck off! We did, we should have had the three points. Nah, man. That's bull. And it was right at the end. Fuck! I thought we had that. Surely. You were not good enough. We shouldn't have conceded that goal. Um, but yeah. I did my best to to win that. Uh, like, the game, like, obviously, like, it wanted to be a struggle for us. Uh, how the game started. It was really, really hard. And I worked my way back into the lead. But then, bang, they had to make something happen in 90th minutes. Uh, I shouldn't be so shocked, should I? Yeah, because it happens uh, really, really often. But, pff, that should have been three points. Uh, especially that we, yeah, got that goal. And we were staying defensive. As d defensive as you could go, really. And... When you look at the match stats, <laughs> that's ridiculous. 61% possession and 15 shots on target. Uh, but somehow we're first. <laughs> but other teams have to play, unfortunately. I suppose the positive is we hold the unbeaten streak. Uh, but yes, apologies for getting frustrated. See, I don't want to get frustrated in my videos. I don't want that to happen, but you're just seeing what's natural. So, yeah. A couple of times someone said I have fake reactions, but <laughs> how is it fake? I'm recording live. Like, fuck. So I don't even want to, like, react this way. I want my, like, videos to be <laughs> without, yeah, so, like, with screaming and whatever. But I can't help it. The game, it's so frustrating, you know. And sometimes it doesn't make sense. When you're going that defensive, they shouldn't work their way through. Five solid at the back. Oh, man, man, man. What do you do? So, moving on to the next game now, lads. It's been an international break, so a lot has happened. We may have some injuries. We'll check that out soon. Uh, but we need to get a win. We need to get a win after a disappointing result. The performance was another thing to talk about. Uh, we conceded three goals at home, uh, which is not ideal. We had the win in the bag, uh, but we dropped it after a struggling game. I thought we had the result. Uh, very frustrated, but we need to turn around. Cagliari, they're 19th. If, but Genoa's in a similar position. It's like, oh, we should have won that. Oh, man, I'm really disappointed we couldn't perform better. That's the biggest thing I'm angry at, to be honest, the actual team. But uh, guys like Bonaventura, I'm still going to give a gig to. I'm going to give them a chance because that was just one game, you know. They need match fitness. He's not going to play at his best uh, when he's not match fit. So you've got to give him the chance there. Menez, he was in the same boat, but he lifted. I'm, yeah, I definitely don't think he is not good. That's the thing. He performed. But the thing is, I was even thinking to bring in Churchy. But i I got to give Menez a chance. It's a tough one. Because both of them couldn't play a center attacking midfielder. Or Menez almost. But at the same time, you want to give Bonaventura a chance. And when we don't have a whole host of injuries, it's okay. We've got a few. But now, yeah, uh, Honda, he was suspended anyway. So it's his injury is not that bad. Because it was just five to nine days and he was suspended anyway for getting a red card in the last game. So that didn't really affect it. But we definitely need our captain, Montalivo. When you don't have your actual captain there, it makes it tough. And we need that really, really good uh, center mid. Yeah, that center mid on support. We were playing SEN there, uh, I suppose, for now. Or maybe bring in uh, Polly. Now, nah, Polly. See, again, I'm just making a different decision here. SEN is a guy I have to let go of. All these aging guys, that's not going to be an impact uh, going forward. And they're not going. their performances are not going to get better. That's the thing. So, Bacchetti, we're dropping him out. If he gets a yellow card, he'll miss the next game. I'm sure the next game will be more crucial. Yeah, Torino. I suppose he's going to miss at some point. We'll have to take that. But, yeah, uh, we're bringing in Philippe Mexes. Uh, he wants to play a bit more. And the game we did play him last time, 7.4 rating. Hopefully, can continue that. Uh, some people said he's not that good anymore, uh, but he's, I, I don't know, it's just one game. So if he shows again, I don't know, maybe he'll have a good season. We've got to give him more of a chance, maybe instead of Alex, but uh, we'll see how yeah how we go. But uh, they have one player I'm actually interested in signing, and that is Nicola Muru. He can play left back and right back, uh, so he's definitely a guy I'm interested in. Uh, he's got high potential, uh, looks pretty good playing first-team football at 19, so not yeah, I'm not sure what more I could say about him. Uh, he looks really good. It's as simple as that. So uh, we'll go into the game and we'll continue to team talk. Maybe we've got to think something else team talk-wise. Maybe we'll say aggressively. 
I expect nothing but a win from this match. Just have to go out and say, and nothing else. No trying, like, to rub them up or something to get uh, good reactions or praising them or nothing like that. They don't deserve to be praised after the last game, especially defensively. Please not again. Not from a corner. Oh, come on, defend it. And I was just thinking there, uh, we haven't worked on defending set pieces, so I think it's only time we concede from a corner, you know, so... It's, it's hard to get the balance right. But when you're playing at home against this kind of team, you want to work on attacking a lot, you know. And also, I'm playing Patsini for this game. Uh, of course, he hasn't played too much. Uh, we've been playing Destro a lot. But he'll be unhappy if you don't play him. And maybe he can score. You don't really know. I'm hoping he would. But he's picked up a knock early here. That's what you get with old players. He's not really, really old. He's getting towards that way. He's 30, but... Come on, the start of the game is not good. It's not good at all, come on. No, no, it's the same, a good save, Lopez. This is what I mean about our poor defending. We're giving them chances. Sure, we haven't conceded yet. And it's really a tough one. Again, we've had the majority of possession quite easily, almost 60%. It's like... If you're... Like, we're conceding this many chances with having the majority of possession regardless if it's resulting us in scoring or not, we're having more of the ball. So if we play in another way to have less of the ball, they'll only have more chances, I'd think. So it's very interesting. Come on, Menez. You need to show up again in this game because you know Church is just there to come to replace you. So pressure on, and that's what you need. You need pressure on positions or players won't step up. That's what you need in your squad. Come on, Bonaventura. Oh, good ball out wide to Abate. Whips it in. Pazzini finds the back of the net. And that's what I want to see. He has a knock, but he had no problem finishing there. That kind of play. That ball by Bonaventura. He's not even going to get an assist for that. But that was a key pass. To set it up for Abate, he had faith that he would get it. Because of his quickness, he would get to the ball. And that was a great goal. And finally, a possession. Um, it shows... Uh, on the scoreboard, and um, but now Panzini, uh, lucky he scored a goal before he got injured, yeah, uh, that's not too bad, disappointing he got injured, but we shall bring on Destro, which, yeah, I'm not worried about that, I know Destro can score, he's shown that so far this season, so the only concerning thing, yeah, um, how big the injury for Panzini, uh, hopefully it's not too long, like you've just seen in this game, uh, he showed you he can finish and make a good run, everything like that, positioning really good, uh, but here, we're going to say assertively, uh, don't get complacent. They've already had a few chances. Uh, Bonaventura, I'll just say calmly. Um, he needs to calm down, maybe? Where, where are we? You need to calm down? Okay, didn't change that. Uh, but I was pleased. But if he doesn't have over a 7 rating, I don't want to yeah, praise him too much. Or other players might get disappointed. Menez, only a 6.3. I've got to say, I'm not happy with your performance. And then he's fired up because he knows. Yeah, he knows. Um, he hasn't played well. Uh, but see, Diego Lopez, 7.4. He's having to keep really well, make saves. Uh, they've had three shots on target. I'm not sure if they're like easy saves, whatever you think. But I don't like conceding those kind of chances, you know. But come on, Destro. Destro's on. Ooh. Imagine if he scored like in 20 seconds. Now Menez. Destro, he does this time, about 25 seconds instead, but he puts home his seventh of the season, wow, he is no, that's what I love, if you have a striker that can find of the back of the net consistently, when he can do that, find the back of the net consistently, man, you, that solves a lot of problems, the striker is, it's always great when your striker is not a problem, <laughs> that's a great thing, and also apparently uh, Churchy is on loan for uh, two seasons, uh, someone told me that in the comment of previous episode, so that is amazing news. I didn't realize that, so that would be killer uh, for us without having to pay him. Obviously, you pay the wages, but we don't have to sign him. Come on. Now, Poli, what can he do? We need him to create. Now, De Jong sprays out wide the Shilio playing on the left side now. He puts one ball in. Oh, what a ball! And that's Menes. Yes! Oh, the competition between Menes and Churchy is going to be a difficult one now. They both play the same position. Menes can play on the left wing, or they both can play both wings. But then you got yeah Al Sharawi on the right side, or the other side, sorry, the left side. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be interesting what we have to do. Like, what is our best attacking 
uh, in the attacking third, at least, what's our best team? As Marco Sau picks up an injury there, striker. So they're going to have to make a substitution there. Uh, but this is what I want to see. This is a much better performance, but obviously they're low down the table. Wait, is that going to be a highlight? I think it was. No, sorry. My eyes are playing up. <laughs> anyway, we'll make some changes now. Of course, we already made the one because of the injury, but most players have played well. Al Sharawi has actually played a poor game. Uh, he's doing well in training. He's progressing. He still can grow uh, into a player. Uh, still in the 21, still got potential in him. Uh, but Bonaventura is lifting today. I'll take Al Shararo because, like, he's playing a poor game. There's, might as well bring on Churchy now and see how he goes. But, yeah, would Menes be a better rating on that side as well? Okay, he's not. Churchy, you can see he's slightly, he's slightly better there. So they're a bit weaker on the left side. So I'm not sure if you'd want to play, but they, yeah, cut in. No, wait. Uh, Churchy's left-footed, but... No, he's reasonable on the right foot. How about Menez? He'll be right-footed, yeah? Yeah, he is. So I think... Should I train one of them to be... Yeah, play more there? That could be a thing as well. So put Menez there because he is right-footed. That basically makes the decision of that. But like I said, should I train one player into that? But again, Von Bonaventura can play there. And when Montalivo comes back, all of that. And Honda's not injured anymore. Matt... It, yeah, it's a struggle you, to uh, start players that deserve to start. But as I mentioned not too long ago, that's what the best teams have, where players have to play at their best so they fight for their position. We definitely have that in our team. Yeah, we have at least, we could probably have better players, uh, you'd think, but at least we have good squad depth. And now Churchy, oh my God! And then Menes, he pounces. Oh my God. He stepped up. He has stepped up despite having only 10 finishing. And you may think that's an easy finish, yeah, with the keeper down. Well, that's from an interesting angle, but he smashed it. It was pretty accurate as well. Straight through the middle. He put that there. And that's 4-0 here. What a game. This is a much better performance. We are finishing our chances. Well, we didn't last game. We just... We didn't defend properly in the last game. That was the problem. And Bonaventura will keep him fit, I think, by taking him off. He's had a great game. We'll take that rating. 8.2, thank you very much. And we'll bring on Hashim Astor uh, as a young guy. This is where you bring him on. This is where, with 12 subs, you have the luxury of keeping a young guy, like that young, who's probably, he's not Serie A quality yet. That's obvious. But yeah, because of that reason, we can bring him on when the result is wrapped up. And we kind of almost need him uh, to rotate at the minute with our injuries. Uh, but you don't, yeah, I'm not expecting him to do anything at this time. It's just, you're giving him that match experience, which is going to be so valuable. Valuable. It's more invaluable. Yeah, like, what it's going to do for him. Like, there's no, there's, like, you can't explain how important that will be. Like, match experience for a young guy in Serie A, regardless of how long. But Jerry Menez steps up again, a 9.4 rating. Uh, so I guess he's shown me. I should be starting him. But when you start a new save, like if you start an AC Milan save, you forget about how they are in real life or anything. You go see, you got Churchy and Menes in the same position. And Churchy does look a bit better. Menes's 10 finishing seems a bit troubling. But today, it didn't look like a trouble at all. And as you can see now, the injury for Pazzini is a three-week injury. It's not ideal, but we're going to have to leave to the physio. Unfortunately, he'll go there. And hopefully going to recover from that. But I feel, yeah, he's a guy I would probably want to sell. Uh, how long has he... Yeah, he's been at AC Milan for a few seasons. Signed for about 10 million, but he's a bit older now, so you can't expect yet. He's only, yeah, almost at 1 million value. So below that. So we've got to maybe sell him in January, but that's a thing. If we look to sell him, because, yeah, his contract's running out at the end of the season. He's on 63K. Just for example, if you go to offer him a new contract... He doesn't even want a new contract. So, uh, yeah, he's unhappy that he's not the first-team striker. Well, yeah, starting striker in the team. Uh, yeah, which is always going to be the case. Uh, player's going to be unhappy. Menez, he can show he can score. And we maintain our unbeaten streak. Like I said, despite what happened in the last game, 3-3, which I thought, um, yeah, going into that game, regardless of the, how I played in that game, not I wanted, I deserved to win what I thought I deserved to win. Like, going into that game... That's a game I wanted to win. So that's why I say when we should have won, that's what I mean. Not on our performance during the game, but in general, yeah, what kind of team they are and what kind of team we are. But that's, yeah, everyone's played seven times now and we're locked in third. 
who've got an extra point uh, than Roma, so that's a good thing. Um, what happened in our game against Roma? 2-2, two, because two. you know how it's judged on the results, who who would be on top? Who would be on top if it's, because uh, it's compared by results, if you don't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> we'll go to rules, and yeah, results between the teams, and it was a draw, so how does that work? Would they go on top of us, because it was a draw and it was away from home, or then does it just go to, is it the goal scored? We'll go to rules, uh, yeah, goal odd, then goal difference? And our goal difference is the same. So we're really, really close. Then gold score, goal scored. So would that mean we'll be on top of them because we scored 18? We've actually scored the most goals in the league. So that's something to be proud of. And yeah, it's hard to concede a minimal amount of goals. It's really hard to concede the least in the league and score the most. It's usually you'll get one unless you're really amazing. Like in my Manchester United save, I did that. But yes, hopefully you understand that. And we're in a pretty good position. Uh, where are we? Where's the board? What are their... Yeah, Serie A, the minute expectation is to qualify for Champions League. And yeah, that's what we look like we're doing. So that's all I have to do. That's all I have to do to keep my job. And obviously give youth a chance. I put those in there because I know I'm going to be playing guys like Hashim Mastor or maybe some other guys, uh, who knows. And first team youngster signings, which I've done. Well, I actually, I'm not sure. I made some young, I'm, I'm surprised. Look, these guys, they're not counting towards that. And uh, Nadal Chiru, is that how you say his name? I can't really, I th someone said I got it right, but I can't remember how I said it the first time. Uh, but he's out on loan, playing first team football. He's going to be a first team centre back for us in the future. I have no doubts about that. Obviously, his quickness is a problem, uh, but he'll be very strong and just a good tackler. Uh, probably won't be the best centre back in the world, but will be first team at least. And then uh, Dejan Drazic, he might actually have to come up into the first team now uh, with some injuries. We might just promote him because uh, definitely he's a talent. Uh, the Serbian Al Sharawi, hopefully, yeah, he can step up and even maybe make the Serbian national team. Uh, you think if he'll be a first teamer for us, he'll make that eventually. But I hope you enjoy this episode. Uh, drop a like on the video. Uh, leave your feedback uh, on anything you've seen on this episode. Uh, and yeah, the actual, not if you enjoyed it or whatever, but your tips on anything I should change, maybe tactically, uh, but definitely after that 4-0, I think yeah, we're, we're going all right, and we're only going to get better from here. This is still early in the season. We're not going to get worse than we are. Like, our, our players are only going to get more used to our tactics, you know. So, hopefully we've found that now with a very strong win, 4-0, and maybe we can push on. Title hope still alive. Juventus is probably the team you would have imagined would run away with it, if anyone would. But Fiorentina, pretty strong. So, it's going to be a close season, definitely. I'm not giving up the title chase. No way. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, subscribe for daily Football Manager content of this series specifically. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.